In the five years that Lexi and I have known each other, I just now have come to the realization that we've never really taken a proper vacation. I mean, we've gone some pretty cool places and we've done some pretty cool stuff together, but we've never really taken a proper vacation before. No better time like the present. Today, we're going on vacation. <laughs> You know, maybe that timeshare presentation salesman guy was right. Maybe we do deserve a vacation. We, we almost need a vacation. So, uh, you know, that's just what we're gonna do. Only after attending that timeshare presentation, I went onto the website and there was a hundred dollar deposit to just look at the resorts and we had two years to book them. The website looked like a five-year-old made it. So I looked up some reviews and a lot of people said they spent a hundred bucks Spent two years looking for a resort with availability and uh, they never found one. So I said, screw that. And we went on to Airbnb, a reputable site, and we found a really luxury condo in Puerto Penasco, Mexico. So that's where we're gonna go. Lexi and I are gonna have our first vacation in five years together. You know, like a real vacation, like a fancy luxury vacation. It's gonna be awesome. We did literally just pulled over so I could film this too. I thought this wagon was cool. All right, let's get on with this vacation. You guys remember a few videos back, I was talking about how Lexi and I wanted to put a junk car in our front yard? Well, this is junk car in your front yard, yard, yard? next level. Bienvenidos and welcome to Mexico on Lexi and I's first vacation in five years and Lexi's first time to Mexico. And out of the country. We just went to the supermercado and it was very interesting. But before I tell you about that, we're gonna go down by the beach, boy. Welcome to Puerto Penasco, Sonora, <laughs> Mexico. Dude, there's literally nobody here. It's unbelievable. Lexi's here, woo! <laughs> can't touch. I can't touch. 
I got my hat on. So back in the day, in junior lifeguards, we used to call this corn dogging. You come out of the water soaking wet and you roll around the sand. And now I'm a giant corn dog. We just got back from the supermercado and they take the illness situation here very, very uh, strictly. We could not enter, there was a man. There was a man that gave us the auto. You cannot enter without the... And then he sprayed us down with some hand sanitizer. He's like, la manos, and he sprayed them. And then our cart, he sprayed that thing too. And then we had to go to a little side area where they temperature checked us. And then we were free to do some shopping. And there's kind of a really limited supply of items, which is kind of shocking because I've been to grocery stores in Mexico before and they had a lot of items, especially coffee. But the only coffee we could procure was this instant coffee. And I asked the guy, I was like, hey, like, we're looking for something fuerte. And he goes, oh, fuerte? Oh, you want this one. And so uh, this is the strongest coffee apparently you can get in uh, the Superle Supermercado in Puerto Penasco. So anyway, <clears throat> we got some eggs and ham and we're gonna make some breakfast. You're telling me you came all the way to Mexico and you're having beady breakfast burritos in the room? Well, I don't always make breakfast burritos. Maybe I kind of do. Dude, I, I don't know, I'm on vacation. Cut me some slack. There is this amazing fancy cliffside restaurante, ironically called La Casa del Capitan, where tacos, enchiladas, guacamole y frijoles were enjoyed. We took one singular photo. It was a really, really nice night. There's the point, located in the heart of El Malecon. Seems like a tourist trap, but hey, what do I know? Seriously, I really don't know. Is it any good? And take a good hard gander at this grande burrito, resembling the Mexican flag, served piping hot on a terracotta plate at Banditos. And those of you that know, well, you know that I love pizza, especially ones that look like this. My goodness. Oh. Taking this Kia off road. Yee haw. <laughs> But hey, what about Wrecked at the Reef? Wrecked Gear's new restaurant. Nah, I'm just kidding. Wrecked Gear doesn't have a restaurant. It's a beachside spot with unbelievably delicious chips y guacamole. I could see this place turning into quite the party in the busy season. Maybe during spring break. I really have no idea, but there is nobody, nobody here. here. What, 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 what is going on around here? What is going on around here?
Here's an extra neato fun fact for you. Puerto Penasco and actually this entire region of the upper gulf has some of the most extreme tide swings in the world. It's not uncommon for there to be over a 10 foot difference between the high and the low tide here. Not only incredible, but truly muy interesante. Hey, is that a vacation lady? Whoa! Get a load of the vacation lady. <laughs> yeah! Hey, how about a room tour? A room tour. A what? You know, a room tour. A, a what? A room tour. A room tour. A what now? A room tour. Uh, a room tour. A what? A room tour. A room tour. <laughs> a what? A what? A what? A room tour. What now? And before you know it, we just gave you an entire tour of this entire room. This is a thousand square foot condo at Puerto Penasco for $100 a night. A screaming good deal. So forget that old timeshare song and dance. Just go to Airbnb and you can get yourself a luxury condo at the beach. This place is literally 300 square foot shy of our house. Our house is small, this condo is large. And uh, yeah, that was an extensive room tour at, what's this place called again? At Bella Sierra in Puerto Penasco, Sonora, Mexico. Let's go to the pool. Let it all. place is bizarre. There's nobody here. I almost feel like I'm being too loud. Lexi's here. I can't end this video without giving some background about the excellent city of Puerto Penasco. It's a small fishing village located on the Sea of Cortez and it's commonly referred to by American visitors as Rocky Point or Arizona's Beach. And if you saw the title of this video and thought angrily confused, hey! Arizona doesn't have a beach. Well, you would be correct. Puerto Penasco is in fact a city in Sonora, Mexico. But for many Arizonans, myself included, it is the closest beach. It has a population of 62,000 and its primary economic support is fishing and tourism. Like many areas in the West, it was popularized with the construction of a railroad in 1930. Still, however, the town was relatively small until the 1990s when the area began to capitalize on tourism. Cancun's success is believed to be a major source of inspiration for this shift as well as its close proximity to the US-Arizona border. And with that, I really appreciate you watching my video of our vacation. I highly recommend Puerto Penasco. It's extremely safe, super awesome, and we had a really great time. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, it's completely free and a really nice thing to do. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Welcome to America. Coming to America. <clears throat> it's, it's a